Now we click at the cinnamon carpet. Do you see it, Abdul? This is what you choose for us from the same page. I will go a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up, and I got a surprise for you, Mr. Donkey. <clears throat> I hope donkeys will not ins be feel insulted for calling a Muslim a donkey. Do you see what it says here, Abdul? Importance in Jewish legions. Do you see it? This is legions. This is nothing to do with the Bible, and this is nothing to do with the true belief. Those are collection of legions. The Jews, they tell their stories or the fairy tale stories for their children. So the Jews agree that those are legions. And you can read the whole testament the old, new old testament and you will not find any of those stories there why because simply they are stupid legions so when you as a muslim you agree that those are legions and your prophet he stole them from the jews and he put them in his book that's mean your prophet is a fake prophet for he is a thief of allegiance like i wish he stole from the old testament a true story but he is stealing legions flying carpet flying horse you know do you know that he mentioned the fly uh, 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 a man he used to have a flying horse before the flying carpet but because he slaughtered him when he get angry allah replaced the flying horse with the flying carpet and i can show you aisha she heard about the flying carpet and the flying horse sorry she used to play with the toys with it and this is why muhammad he come with the story of the flying mule he have he called it al, -Mur al buraq this story is coming from the legion of the Jews, and the legion of the Jews is coming from the, the from the Assyrian, who have legions too about flying uh, animals. So, uh, uh, all of this is a collection of legions. And the, the question is, how someone he claimed to be a prophet of God, he agree with legions to make them as part of his story. How you agree with it? So if we go to the, the if we go to the carpet issue, we go down. <clears throat> uh, like here, as, as an example, the story, uh, the story of uh, uh, of uh, a ceremony judgment. You know, it's all of this is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a collection of legions. You know, and then uh, we go down to the carpet. Let's go to the carpet. The eagle of Suleiman. The Quran speak about the hoodhood. All right, uh, and here the carpet. You will see it's exactly the same story. It would say, it would you know, like Muhammad, he just uh, uh, make it shorter, and you know, you will see here that the flying carpet, you know, it carry it carry all his kingdom ship, and you know, read with me here, you know. You see it. So he ordered the wind, and the Quran says, says the same that uh, Suleiman he ordered the, the wind, and the wind carry him. So those are legions, and you Muslims you copy legions from the Jews and you put it in the Quran. And Muhammad always do that. As an example, for all Muhammad life, he never mentioned the punishment of the grave. And one day, a Jewish woman she came to the house of Muhammad, as you see it here. Aisha said that a Jews came to her and mentioned the punishment in the grave, saying to her, May Allah protect you from the punishment of the grave. Hmm? Aisha, she said, then she asked the prophet or the apostle about the punishment of the grave. He said, Yes, there is punishment in the grave. Aisha then, then after that, she said, I never saw the apostle but seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment in the grave in every prayer. If you analyze this uh, hadith with me, you will notice that Muhammad, he never mentioned the punishment of the grave ever before. Until a Jew told Aisha about the punishment of the grave. Aisha, she told Muhammad about the punishment of the grave. And since then, Muhammad, he cannot 
pass a day without saying I seek Allah refuse I seek refuse to Allah from the punishment of the grave <laughs> I mean if the punishment of the grave is so scary and Muhammad he is a prophet of Allah how come he never heard of it until the Jew he told him and then he stuck with it and the proof that Muhammad never mentioned it before because Aisha why she is surprised why they you know if Muhammad mentioned it before and you, as you see this is mean before that time before that day Muhammad never ever ever mentioned such a thing and this is one of the part of the Jewish legions that when you go in the grave your punishment start so Muhammad he copy it and he make it part of his religion and now he is teaching the Muslims that there is a punishment of the grave. This is why he slept with the mother of Ali, Fatima bin to Asad. When she was, when she died, he slept with her in the grave. Why? Because simply he want to make the pressure of the grave lighter. But Muhammad never mentioned it before until a Jew, he told Aisha that. And this is why Muhammad, he always, he copy and he tried to, 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 uh, to hide uh, 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 his theft like as you see here a story of a Jewish guy when Muhammad was doing a funeral and Muhammad praying standing so a Jew he told him this is how we do it this is how we do it Muhammad right away he said to his men sit down sit down and let us act differently why because obviously he's a thief he is copying from them and he thought by acting differently he will not be accused anymore of his stealing of the Jew so